grade eight natural science light reflection of light learners please refer to your resource pack term three page 13 and 14. now if a light source produces a ray of light and if that ray of light hits a reflective surface, for example, a mirror, that light will be reflected off the reflected surface. Learners, the light that is coming from your light source, the ray, is the incoming ray and it is referred to as the incident ray. The ray of light that is reflected from the reflective surface is called the reflected ray. And this is also known as the outgoing ray because it's leaving the reflective surface. Now, in between the incident ray and the reflected ray, you'll find we have a line in the center, which is a broken line, and this line is called the normal. Now learners, we, we won't see this line, it's an imaginary line, and it runs 90 degrees to the reflective surface. In between, the incident ray and the normal, you will find the angle of incidence and in between the reflected ray and the normal, you will find the angle of reflection. By law, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. In other words, if the angle of incidence is, say for example, 30 degrees, then the angle of reflection will also be 30 degrees. All right, just to recap, light changes direction when it is reflected. The laws of reflection are the ray of incidence and the reflection and the normal are all in one place. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The incident ray and the reflected ray are on opposite sides of the normal. As you can see here, incident ray on this side, and in the opposite side, the reflected ray. Incoming ray and outgoing ray with the normal at 90 degrees. Okay, if we have to apply this law in an activity, let me go to activity eight, page 14. Understand the scientific terminal used for light reflection. Study the diagram and answer the questions that follow. All right. So what do we have in this diagram? You'll notice there's your laser. As I told you, that's your source of light. There's your ray of light coming out of the laser. And we've given the angle of 35 degrees at this point. Now, you've got line, ray AB. B, C, and then you got B, T. This is your mirror, which is your reflective surface. First question number one. How big is the angle of reflection? And explain how you arrived at the answer. So where is the angle of reflection? If I look at this diagram, this is my angle of 
reflection and we know that the angle of reflection is between the normal and the reflected ray. So if I go back to the activity, I need to figure out which is the incidence ray and which is the reflected ray. And it stands to reason A, B. Because it's coming from the laser point, the source of the ray, this will be the incident ray. And B, C is now your reflected ray. So the angle of reflection is actually between D, B, C. There's your angle of reflection. We want to work out the value of the angle of reflection. Learners, we already know now that this angle is 35. If I am able to work out the angle of incidence, then I automatically will get the answer to the angle of reflection because we know the law states that angle of incidence equals to the angle of reflection. So what else do we know? We know that the normal imaginary line here is 90 degrees to the reflective surface. So 90 minus 35 will give me the angle of incidence. And your answer is 55 degrees. Therefore, the angle of reflection is also going to be 55 degrees because the second part of the question, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Give the scientific terminology for B, C, A, B, and B, D. All right. B, C is your reflected ray. A, B is your incident ray. B, D is the normal, the imaginary line. Okay, now, on a smooth surface, all light is reflected in the same direction. So if the rays of light are coming at the same angle towards a smooth reflective surface, then all of these rays will be reflected at the same angle of reflection as well. In other words, the rays will be all uniform. As you can see in the diagram, figure 22. 